sanctions to get back on the floor after what oh, happened yeah. at Xavier? Or yeah. what? Actually, yeah. after the Xavier game, you know, we kind of went back to the hotel and we had a heart to heart as a team. We laid it out all on online. And the last few days in practices, we really took it up to another level and we wanted to uh, to respond. Defensively, respond defensively. Drill, same question for you. What was it like? I know it's been an interesting four years. What was it like they had? Oh, man, it was a great experience. You know? um, it's great to go out with a win. You know, um, especially, like you said, after coming off that embarrassing loss. But I don't know. I just. Love being with my teammates. I enjoyed the moment, being with the four seniors that was out there. Everybody was positive. Everybody stick to the game plan. It was good to come out with it. Did you expect more out of them? They beat you up there. I mean, played some pretty good teams. And it seemed like either you just jumped on them or they just run into it. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to play a team on senior night just because it seems like you just have a psychological disadvantage from the start being the team that you're playing against. You know? So, you know, they seem kind of sluggish coming out, and we just wanted to step on them. But I also think they, they kind of slept on us a little bit, because they probably seen that loss that we had, yeah. and probably came in like, all right, we're just going to beat them and get on the road. But, you know, I wasn't like, we wasn't there today. They couldn't call that today. Ruben, when you say the team had a heart-to-heart, -heart, what do you mean, a, a meeting? Was it a team yeah, meeting? We or? had a team meeting in the hotel for about an hour, and uh, we basically had a heart-to-heart -heart with the 12 guys on the team, and we just... We committed ourselves to this program, to the school, and to each other. And uh, today, uh, I think, was a step uh, in the right direction. Coaches just there or not there? No. no. Just you guys. It was all players. Uh, the seniors, we, we called Earl, me, uh, Ruben. We all called each other to, to our rooms, and we all just got everything off our chest. And we felt like we needed to get off, and you know, we were taking a step in the right direction. Because we know we're a better team than even our record indicates. So. We just want to end the season out showing people that, and the team should be afraid of us. There's so many lessons in that game. Uh, first and foremost, we shot 34% from the field and, and won a game by 21 points because we played some defense and, and we uh, rebounded people. And it's just effort and it's just heart. And, um, you know, they, I would say that this week is the first time that, as a group, we've responded to uh, a serious challenge. You know, I mean, we're, we haven't been mentally tough enough, and that mental toughness encompasses a lot. It basically encompasses out competing people and being focused at crunch time and doing it consistently. Okay, mental toughness is a broad term, and, and uh, you can't be successful without it. And frankly, uh, we, 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 we've been lacking in that area, and uh, I would say that this week is the first time that. Uh, um, we, we really responded to uh, um, to challenges in, in practice and in games. Um, you know, up until this point, whenever I, I you know I, I give a challenge, we have to do this, this, or that. You know, we we, we, we didn't meet it. Uh, and, but you know, this week and uh, and this game, we certainly did, and hopefully, it's the start of something. Um, I know our guys. Uh, called their own meeting after the Xavier game, and I often say this, it doesn't matter what the coach says, every coach in the country talks about defense. Every coach in the country has their defensive philosophy. We're, listen, we're, people say, well, what are they doing out there? Trust me, everyone in the A-10, every Division One coach is teaching the heck out of defense and drilling on it. What's important is what the players say. It's not what the coaches say. What's important is what the players say. When the players say, hey, number 12 is really good, he can't get an open look, everyone be in the gaps, make sure they don't get in the paint. Hey, be out on those ball screens early. Make sure we front the post. When the players start talking like that, now you have something. And frankly, uh, you know, some of the players gave, were, were very kind to me after the Xavier game. They finally said, you know what, we, we just need to listen better. You know, and, um, and uh, they did a great job. You know, they did a great job, um, uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully we, we can do this more consistently. <laughs> John, did you encourage that meeting? Or, no, I mean, did, no, 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 I never make them, no, you can't. Something like that has to come from them. Yeah, I would never tell the players, hey, you guys need to meet, because if I felt that way, I would call a meeting, you know? So that was a good thing. And actually, a hometown hero, Earl Pettis, was, was the person who started that whole process, I understand. So, 
I could kiss her all right now. <laughs> Do you expect this today? I always know. Listen, I've seen us play the best teams in the country and have a chance to win. This team is not lacking in talent. So I'm never surprised good or bad. I always say this team could beat anyone or lose to anyone. Literally. Not many teams could do that. This team actually can. This team can be up by eight with four minutes left against Villanova when they were 12th in the country and lose on the last play of the game and really have a chance to win it. You know, we can beat a top 20 team, but we can lose to anyone also. And I think our talent is good enough to beat anyone, but... You know, our mental toughness and consistency is such that uh, we, we can lose to anyone, too. And that's and that's because everyone's got good players. You know, we're playing for them now. They're struggling. I mean, they gave Xavier everything they can handle. They got three guys who can make threes. They got an all-conference power forward. Uh, you know, yeah, that's... Yeah, every, to be good, you, you, you really need a great mentality to be good. And we haven't had that. But we do have good players. And we have good kids. But that's not enough. Coach, talk about the job you guys did on Gurley. Yeah, our guys, they, you know, they, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to stop. I mean, deeply wanted to, not lip service. I mean, you know, in the end, actions are most important. So, uh, yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, it's about time. Is that as good? Is that as good as you play, play defense? Coach, yeah. Is that as good as you play defense? Yeah. Yeah, now they missed some shots too. They weren't at their best, but our effort was good, as evidenced by the defense and the rebound. Well, when they came, uh, Ruben said that they saw right away that UMass seemed to come out a little bit sluggishly. Are you, is it good that your guys kind of seized on that? Yes. You talk about, you, you talk about sort of the mentality. I mean, I didn't notice that they were sluggish. I mean, Ruben sometimes is, has more has his special insights. But, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm glad that we took advantage of it. You recruit guys specifically for special insights? <laughs> Ruben played great, and he's a good kid who's put a lot of uh, effort in, and I'm glad he had a good senior day. They hit the three straight threes in the second half. Right. Game, and scored six points in that right. six minutes. Right. That, that was, I would say that was the most, that stretch and then how we responded was clearly, in my mind, the most important part of the game. He didn't leave Matt in the game. He was hot. Again. Sheen? Matt. Yeah, Matt Sheen. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Matt uh, uh, he's wonderful. <laughs> he's just absolutely wonderful. Anything else? Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Coach Kellogg.